Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do an important RBA circular for prompt corrective actions uh, framework for primary urban cooperative banks. This is very important for your exam for IBPS RRB scale 2 and scale 3. Most probably you are going to find a question from this topic in your exam. Most probably. So students uh, IBPS RRB scale 2 and scale 3 course 2024 we have started this course on bankexamstudy.com in which we are providing video classes notes quizzes and the test series link to join is available in the description right prompt corrective action PCA framework for primary urban cooperative banks so students if you are reading RBA circulars closely uh, you may remember that for urban cooperative banks, there was supervisory action framework and for uh, commercial banks, there was there is actually prompt correct, uh, corrective actions. But now RBI has implemented PCA framework from 1st of April 2025. Uh, this PCA framework would be applicable to urban cooperative banks, uh, primary urban cooperative banks as well. Okay. So this is the framework, uh, read it closely directly from RBA's official website. So there are uh, parameters, three parameters. The first one is the capital. Second one, asset quality. Third one, profitability, right? So the capital parameter, what is the indicator? CRAR, right? So the capital to risk weighted asset ratio, uh, see, for tier 2 to tier 4, the capital to risk weighted asset ratio, the minimum is 12%. The minimum is 12%. Okay. So if uh, the CRAR is 250 basis point below 12%, it will be under the risk 1 threshold, right? So if it is more than 250 basis point, but less than 400 basis point, it would be under uh, risk threshold 2. So these are categories. And in excess of 400 basis point, it would be under risk threshold three. Okay. For asset quality, net non-performing advances ratio, net NPA ratio, if it is between 6% to 9%, it would be under risk threshold one. If it is between nine to 12%, it would be under risk threshold two. If it, if it is more than 12%, it would be under risk threshold three. So for net profit, if uh, it occurred, the primary urban cooperative bank occurred losses during last two consecutive years, it would be under the uh, the PCA framework. Okay, please remember this table. It's very important. The mandatory actions are according to the risk threshold. So if a bank is under the risk threshold one, bank may need to raise the capital either from the existing members or by issuing of equity and other permissible capital instrument, they need to raise capital. They cannot uh, declare there is a restriction on declaration of dividend uh, on donations, they cannot donate appropriate restriction on capital expenditure, other than for the technological upgradation, they cannot spend money on capital. Uh, so they cannot spend money on capital expenditure. Okay. So in the second risk uh, threshold, in addition to the uh, the actions and the mandatory actions in the risk threshold one, uh, there is a restriction on branch expansions, new branches cannot be opened. So in the third threshold, appropriate restriction or prohibition on expansion of total size of deposit, money cannot be deposited in the bank, right? So the bank cannot raise money, bank cannot open new fixed deposits, right? From the depositors, right? Other discretionary actions from RBA, RBA can do lot other actions, they can uh, special supervisory actions can be there strategy related governance related capital related credit risk related market related uh, HR related profitability related operations or the business related impositions of all of the above. So RBA can take all these actions. Uh, these are discretionary, but uh, on the left side, they are all the mandatory actions that RBA can take. So if you remember this table, it would be very easy for you to answer all these questions. 
uh, as per the PCA framework, the key areas that are monitored capital, asset quality and profitability, please remember this is an important question. So what indicators uh, would be tracked for capital asset quality and profitability CRAR net NPA ratio and net profit for the PCA framework obviously for UCBs. Uh, to which tiers uh, this PCA framework would be implemented except tier one, it would be implemented to tier two, tier three and tier four. What is CRAR risk threshold one as defined in RVA circular on PCA framework? So uh, the limit is up to 250 uh, basis point below the, minim uh, the minimum regulatory requirement of 12%. According to RBA circular on PCA framework, risk threshold corresponding to net NPA of more than 12%. So it's in the risk threshold three. So if N net NPA is more than 12%, it will be in the risk threshold three. So under the RBA circular for the PCA framework, when is a bank generally placed under PCA based on the reported audited annual financial result or ongoing uh, supervisory assessment by RBI? What is required for a bank to exit from PCA framework according to the RVA circular? No breaches in the thresh threshold in any of the parameters as per four continuous quarterly financial statement. For four continuous quarterly financial statement, they need to get out from those, uh, they need to fix uh, those issues. The profitability, the NPA and the capital requirements, okay. So what mandatory action is required under the threshold one bank, uh, they need to raise capital from the existing members or by issuing equity uh, and other permissible capital instruments. So what additional mandatory action is required under risk threshold two restriction on branch expansion. So it's all uh, the same questions are there from the table. Uh, what discretionary action can be taken uh, discretionary action super the supervisory actions can be taken and that's i guess all for today students i hope you like the today's session and if there is any doubt in your mind please ask your doubts and i'm going to answer all your doubts and that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye bye So that's all students, you can join the IBPS RRB scale 2 and scale 3 course on bankexamstoday.com. If you like the today's session, you love the course, right? We are covering the entire syllabus list of our successful students who took our courses in the past in the 2023, 2022, all these students, uh, they took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams and I'm really, really happy for them. You can be one of them and you will be one of them in the future. If there is any doubt in your mind, please ask your doubts. So this is my WhatsApp number, which is always available on our website. And you can ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye bye.